Hello everyone, welcome to my workshop. My name is Steve and I am in the middle of doing a review on the Acer L2 36 watt machine. And while doing that, I wanted to do something where I'm cutting through some thicker material. This is uh, some three quarter inch solid Aspen, typical stuff that you can find at your big box store. But while doing these reviews, I like to test it in some real world scenarios. And today I'm going to be making just a simple uh, kind of stand up sign out of this three quarter inch material. So I thought I would show you how I use light burn to set that up. We're going to be welding some text together with a base and then cutting it out on the laser. And I thought I'd bring you along. So if this sounds interesting, let's jump right into it. So we're in Lightburn, and I'm going to show you just some a real simple task. It's how to create some letters, weld them together so we can make a stand up sign. This could be applied to many different types of things that you might need to do within Lightburn when you're trying to connect letters. Um, I'm using this just to create a simple test, but thought I would do a quick recording that hopefully it helps someone out out there. So uh, we're in Lightburn. I have it set up for just one of my dial lasers, um, and then we are going to work. I've got this in inches, as you can see here. Um, you can easily switch this between millimeters and inches by clicking on your button up here. But we're going to start out. I am going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to use our box. I'm going to go to our tool layer and I am going to draw a rectangle. Now up here, I am going to adjust this to be 12 by 3.5 inches. So that kind of just defines my working area. gives me a visual cue on setting this up right. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and select my lettering and we are just going to simply take my channel name, my Vintari, and we are going to put that there. We're going to move this over to our line layer. And from here, you know, you can play with your font and different fonts are going to work better or worse for this. So usually a thicker font is going to work better than say a really thin font. And uh, obviously things like this that have, you know, effects to them are not going to work as well. So you want to find the font that works well for you. All right. So I've got my font sorted out here. I went with something that's a little bit abnormal, but doesn't have a lot of little jagged lines in it and such. And uh, then I didn't want it to be too blocky at the bottom. Uh, sometimes it's nice having a little bit of curve because it actually adds to the definition of the letters. But what we need to do next is we need to add a base for this. So I'm going to just take our box tool. I'm going to simply draw a block approximately the size. And then I just want to adjust this. I'm going to have this be about a third of an inch tall. So the 0.33 and the width, we can kind of gauge that. You might want it sticking out beyond the letters. You might want it just to the edges. I would not have it line up right at the edge because that looks a little funny, but this seems to be okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring this up just enough so that it is touching each of the letters as minimally as possible. So play around with that. You just want to be able to get them to where they're going to be able to weld together. And this looks pretty good. And then the other thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to select them both. I'm going to come up to our align vertical, bring them together. And that's going to center this with that. And um, as, assuming that looks okay, I might actually bring this in just a little bit, even though that's no longer centered. I think just our ends having about the same distance uh, looks a little bit better. We can maybe bring this one in just a touch as well. And I'm pretty happy with that. So now what we're going to do is once again, select them both, come up to our tools and we can hit weld shapes. If you want to get a preview and you have two objects selected like this, you can use your Boolean union and that will uh, also do a weld. <clears throat> Otherwise, if you use the Boolean assistant, because you're not sure which one you want, um, you can kind of hover over these and it'll show you the intersection, the union, subtracting A from B, subtracting B from A. There are reasons why you would use that um, when trying to modify a shape. Uh, but here we're just want to join the two together. So union is what we want or the weld function would work just fine. So we're going to go with that. Now they are combined together. They are all on one piece. We have our base area here and then our letters are all individually stuck into that. We have no loose pieces. It's all one. And uh, we can go ahead and send this off to laser. So I am going to do that next and we'll check to see how it came out.
All right, so here we have it. It is complete. As you can see, it is cut all the way through there. And uh, this job did take about 15 and a half minutes to complete. I was using two passes on the laser, 175 millimeters a minute, 100% power. And I had the focus set uh, down about three and a half millimeters so that it would uh, be more towards the center of this. I, I didn't want to go much further because I was concerned about that shroud and collecting smoke. So, but it did get cut through. I just had a couple of areas where I needed to just pop out a little bit of nibs, but it came through. And then I did have to sand the back. As you may see, there's still some small spots on there. If I take this out to my main workshop, hit it with the orbital sander, it'd be good to go. But um, there you have it. Uh, it has a nice, it's just a nice little name stand. Um, I don't really have a necessary purpose for this, but hopefully it can inspire you for something if you wanted to make some name plates. Um, for de decoration around the house, maybe for some kids' rooms, stocking holders, whatever. This is something that you could use quite a bit as far as combining letters together. So uh, I hope this was uh, educational for you and maybe inspires you to create your own project. I will be completing the review on this Acer L2 36 watt machine in the near future, and I will have it linked down below once that's done. So if you're interested in the machine that was able to cut through this material, uh, you'll be able to check that out as well. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day and I hope you get out into your workshop and make something too. We'll catch you next time.